Okay, we're going to talk about casting today. Casting converts one type of variable to another compatible type, if appropriate. Let's go over some examples. So suppose we have an int, as we do on this line here, int num equals 6. You can, one type of casting here is a direct casting, which is basically creating a variable, a double, giving it a name, and making it equal to a variable that is of a different type. Now, you can do this between doubles and integers, um, but not in all circumstances, which I'll show you in a second. So this actually works. We hit compile, and that will, that compiles. No errors. You can see down there. So, however, it's important to note that the value of num didn't change. But Java allowed dnum to be assigned to num's value, even though they are not of the same type. Thus, that's the casting. However, you cannot do the opposite of the above example. For instance, we could not create, say, 6.8. Eight, nine, and then go ahead and say num is going to be equal to dnum. This will not compile. You need to cast a variable dnum first. Auto casting does not occur. See, we get the error there. So what you have to do is put in parentheses int to cast it. Most of the time you'll have to do this. It's only when you're going from int to a double that you don't have to. So now we're going to go over rounding. So say we have a value dnum equals 6.89. Okay, so if we wanted to round that to the nearest um, ones place, this is how we would do it. We do dnum equals get the casting there. And we're going to cast this whole little equation here that is 0 0.5. So what that will do is, actually, I'll just show you. Put denom down here. Compile. Oh, forgot our semicolon. And you see that it rounded it to the nearest one spot. In rounding, we look at the number to the right of the number we actually want to round. And that's why we added 0 0.5 to our double here. And it made the number, and basically it makes the number greater than 7 in this instance. And when you cast it to an int, it just chops off the end. And that's why it's equal to 7. Does that make sense? So... If this was anything less than, if this was 6.49, then this would have been equal to 6, because it would have been equal to 6.99 when you cast it to an int. Remember, you just chop off everything that's after the decimal point. And that's rounding.